my name is Donnie Kraus, and I'm running for, for mayor of Centerville. Most of you are probably wondering where Centerville is at this point. Well, Centerville is literally about halfway between Woodstock and Perth Andover. Centerville is a small community made up of, uh, of about 550 people. We're up significantly from the last few years, but for a small place, we're a busy place. We have several businesses in town. We have convenience store, bank, uh, grocery store, etc. You get the picture. We're surrounded by a big farming community, and most of those farmers do business in our village every day. The town hosts a variety of events each year, but the main attraction are the tractor pulls, which are held every June and September. I myself was born in Toronto, but moved down here when I was 17 years old. So I've been in the area for the last 30 years. And I, now I can't imagine living anywhere else. I've been interested in politics for quite a few years and I follow it quite extensively. But I've never had the nerve to try my hand at it at all. I met and married my wonderful wife, wife War <laughs> pardon me. I met and married my wonderful wife Robin three years ago and bought a house right on Main Street. So now that I live in town, I can try my hand at local politics. Living in town is great for me because I can walk to work. It's good exercise. I work at Metal Fab Limited where we build custom fire trucks. It's a good job and there's never a dull moment. As a member of this town, I've seen improvements made, but there's still more work to be done. Living in town affords me the ability to talk to people that I normally wouldn't get to see. I'd like to see more businesses come into town. I'd like it if more people had work. I'm very proud of the fact that my town is the kind of place where people can safely walk down the street. In closing, I'd like to say that on election day, I hope that everyone votes, not just in my town, but in everyone's town. I think it's important and just remember, your vote does count. So that being said, all that's left to say is thank you, and I hope you have a pleasant day. My name is Michael Stewart. I'm running for mayor for the village of Centerville. I retired after working over 30 years with the Department of Transportation. I have been a counselor with the village of Centerville for the past four years. Since 2012, I have been responsible for the portfolio of streets and roads, summer and winter maintenance, Sarnival Chamber of Commerce, and I have been active with the Sarnival Rec Committee as well. Over the past four years, we strive to provide services, fun and recreational for our residents. We are very proud of how hard our community partners work to raise the money to install a large blast park adjacent to our community pool. We have enhanced the community park with new equipment, safer grounds, and for the children of Centerville and their surrounding areas. I am an active member of the Centerville Elks and continue to work to improve the club on all levels. As mayor, I plan to continue to work hard to ensure that Centerville keeps improving. We are fortunate to have successful businesses, active businesses in our village, and with a little help, Centerville can grow. It is up to the council to encourage the relationship between business and government. We pride ourselves in very active community. People of all ages enjoy the beauty of our village. In the spring, summer, and fall, we like to promote the Prestio River that runs through our village. Whether you travel by rubber tube, kayak, or canoe, you can absorb the beauty that surrounds the river. We would love to promote this to people from outside the area so that they may enjoy it as well. We have a few ideas on our community wish list that I'd love to see completed as well. This includes enhancing recreational venues and outdoor spaces as well as targeting special activities for all ages. These are just a few things that stand out in my mind as to what I would like to see for our village. I am not afraid of hard work and love to keep busy. 
I have enjoyed my time on council and have gained many friendship and relationships since entering municipal politics. This is why I wish to become the mayor of Centerville. Hi, my name is Carson Atkinson. I'm a retired educator and small business owner in Chippewa, New Brunswick, and I'm offering for the position of uh, mayor on May the 9th. Uh, my involvement in the, the last number of years has been with the village. I've been a town councillor previously. I've been on nursing home boards. I've been president of the New Brunswick Association of Nursing Homes, on hospital boards. Uh, multiple school systems that I've worked in in the 37 years in education. Uh, I've worked in eight schools, I guess, and was principal for 31 of the 37 years in education. I've worked on justice committees, uh, Rotary International, Chamber of Commerce, Library Board, and Library Foundation. Goals as I see them coming up in the election would be to have the council develop a fiscally responsible uh, Chipman strategic plan. I think that's essential to know where we're, we're hoping to go. And that would involve the community leaders and the churches, with first priority being to deal with our banking crisis. Uh, to have Chipman, work, uh, Chipman Council work collaboratively and transparently with all residents to promote our village as a destination for relocation, business development, and recreation. Uh, to work with all citizens, representatives from small businesses in the Irving Woodlands, Grand Lake Timber, uh, to revitalize Chipman. We've had an expansion of uh, $40 million approximately in the Chipman Mill in, in recent years, and we're very proud of that. Also, a goal would be to enhance the appearance and the vitality of our community, to provide strong leadership within the village and at the provincial level to promote our community, to have Chipman Council examine all current services available in hopes of improving their quality in a fiscally responsible fashion. Uh, basically, I, I guess I would ask on May 9th that you uh, come out and vote for whoever you think will basically do the best job for Chipman. I'm asking for your support on May 9th. Make Chipman number one in terms of turnout of eligible voters. Thank you. I'm Edward Ferris, and I'm seeking another term as mayor of the village of Chipman in the May 9th municipal election. Many changes have taken place in the rural New Brunswick, and all of these changes are welcome for the best. Chipman and surrounding area residents were shocked and angered to learn recently about the closure of our Scotiabank branch at a public meeting. Many of the residents voiced their con concerns, only to hear time after time by the bank representative, it is a done deal. It has come to my attention that a few people are upset that I chose to remain silent <clears throat> at the meeting. I would be the first to admit that I am not a public speaker. I was informed a week or so in advance about the bank closure. Calls were already being placed to the MLA, to the MP, and as many banks and credit unions as office staff could contact. There was nothing new to report, so I remained in the seat and listened. I strongly believe action speaks louder than words, and that was not what some expected. I am truly sorry. The public meeting was followed by discussions which were of some benefit. The village learned this past week that the Scotiabank cash-only machine will be placed in the local grocery store that will be a definite savings to the Scotiabank customers. To date, no bank or credit union is interested in doing business in rural New Brunswick. Our sewer system needs updating. Funds are being secured to purchase a new fire truck, and the village streets are being presented to the provincial government for resurfacing. All these things and more are already in the works for 2016. The Office of Mayor is 24-7 and much more work time and responsibility than most people realize. That is something to be considered when casting your vote on May the 9th. During that time, my guest councillor, deputy mayor and mayor, I have been involved in all aspects of the village dynamic. I trust my experience and work will be remembered at the polls and you choose to vote for an experienced candidate as it does a good job done. Thanks to Roger TV for this opportunity. Hi, this is Faith Kennedy, candidate for Mayor of Chipman in the upcoming municipal election, May 9th. Chipman is a village situated on the banks of the Salmon River at the head of the Grand Lake. 
We are home to one of New Brunswick's largest sawmills, and in the past two years, Irving has invested millions of dollars into our mill. He does see a future in our village, as we all do too. Chipman now has to start to promote itself to make a home and to move forward for our many citizens and workers at the mill. It is time that we promote our tourism venues. We have a beautiful marina. We also can fish. We can hunt. Snowmobile trails are wonderful. And it's time that we promote these things. Also, in part of moving forward, we also need to lead by example. Our mayor needs to shop local, support our local businesses and services, and utilize our many things that we have to offer in our village. In moving forward, we need to lead by example, and I ask you to put your faith in me, and on May 9th, vote Faith Kennedy for mayor. Thank you. People ask me why I am running. The quick answer is because I love this city, and deep down, I know we can be better. We enjoy prosperity here, but not everybody does. That's why we need to be more inclusive with initiatives such as more affordable housing, because that can make the difference between somebody just getting by or participating in everything this wonderful city has to offer. Too many people work too hard not to deserve this. And too many people are worried about employment. As a city, we can't provide jobs, but we sure can create the environment that can create excitement about jobs, and we can do a lot better with that. That's going to be my primary focus as your mayor. But a more inclusive city it, with more economic uh, diversity is just a small part of my vision. If you want to see my entire platform, go to my website, www.mikeobrienformayor.ca. That's O'Brien without the apostrophe, the letter, the number four, mikeobrienformayor.ca. So, why should you vote for me? Aside from the passion I have for our city and the tons of energy I'll bring to the job, there are three specific reasons why I believe I deserve your vote. One, I learned a long time ago that to accomplish great things, a key is to bring in inspired and engaged people together and empower them. And that's something I'm particularly good at, bringing people together in a team and getting things done. And I will be your inclusive mayor, including all stakeholders and interested citizens in the decision-making process. Two, I have a vision for what this city can be. We chose our campaign slogan, we can be better, for a reason. We have so much potential to be better, better environmentally, better economically, better inclusion-wise, a better downtown, better in so many ways. My vision is, for real, uh, is about realizing our potential to be better. And three, my experience, 10 years in the private sector and almost 30 years as an executive at NB Liquor, including acting CEO, overseeing what is a $150 million operation, and my entire adult life in community service, engaged in such uh, issues as economic development, hospital boards, and spearheading numerous community initiatives. In also, my 15 years on city council, including terms as finance chair and two terms as your deputy mayor. Like you, I am proud of our city, but I'm asking for your vote because I know we can be better. I hope you will agree I have the integrity, experience, and energy to move Fredericton forward in the best way possible. On May 9th, I kindly ask for your support and for your vote. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brad Woodside, candidate for mayor in the upcoming election on May the 9th. You know, I've spent more than half my life serving the public. I'm reoffering for mayor on May the 9th because I'm asking this question. Are you better off today than you were eight years ago? You know, it was eight years ago that I was asked to run and I was reelected as your mayor. And I'm convinced that we are better off today than we were eight years ago. We have more jobs. We have more people. We have more opportunities. And it's just beginning with us. We're on the right direction. And that was evidenced last week when the Premier announced 100 new jobs in the cybersecurity sector. We are a smart, intelligent city, and that has been proven twice when we were nominated as a smart, intelligent city. We've also released $6 million from our budget. We've done that through Lean Six Sigma. We haven't eliminated one job, and we haven't reduced the level of service. We're a clean and a very mean organization. Mean in so far as we watch our dollars very carefully. That is one of the biggest challenges that faces us, is to keep our debt at a manageable level, to continue to provide the services that you've been accustomed to, 
and to keep the tax rate down. Ladies and gentlemen, I have proven in the last eight years that I can do the job, and I can also show you that I've done a good job in the last eight years. I'm not finished yet by a long shot. I want to continue to keep this community growing. I want to promote it both provincially, nationally, and internationally, like I've done as I was president of the Federation of Canadian Municipalities. We take a back seat to nowhere in this community, my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, Fredericton is the great place to raise your family, to be employed, and to retire. It's safe, it's clean, it's green, it's everything you could ever imagine. On May the 9th, let's keep this going. On May the 9th, vote for me, Brad Woodside, for your mayor. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Len Faulkner. I'm seeking your support in the upcoming municipal election in the Village of Frederick Junction as mayor. <clears throat> I've been married to Marilyn for 33 years. We have two daughters, Amanda and Kelly. We are the owners of Sunbury Diner, a local family restaurant in Frederick Junction. I'm a graduate of Ormocto High School. I'm a certified automotive service technician with a red seal, and I have a certificate in public service management from UNB. For the past 31 years, I have been employed in various departments within the province of New Brunswick. I am currently the Acting Regional Manager of the Fredericton Branch of uh, Apprenticeship and Occupational Certification under Post-Secondary Education Training and Labor. Some of my volunteer activities include Past President, Local 2, Industrial Training Certification Officers. I've sat on the Board of Directors of New Brunswick Union and Public Empo Private Employees. I've been a past director of the Gladstone Curling Club. I've been the past president of the Patterson Settlement Historical Society, past director in the Brunswick Curl Provincial Curling Championship, past assistant referee in chief of the Tri-County Minor Hockey Officials Association. I was inducted in the Oromocto Area Sports Hall of Fame in 2013. Having lived in Frederick Junction for the past eight years, I'm interested in serving you as mayor. If elected, I will work diligently on your behalf on all subject matters in the best interest to all citizens. I want to continue to move forward with the construction of the new emergency services complex as proposed, and also interested in working with the present government regarding much needed repairs to roads and infrastructure within the village. With the possibility of a new assisted care living complex being planned for the area, I th see this as a great opportunity for the village, and it would also allow our seniors to live with the dignity and respect they deserve. Frederick Junction and area is well known for its dedicated volunteers, as we have seen in the recent Maritime North Hockey Championships and the two Provincial Curling Championships that brought hundreds of volunteers to Frederick Junction. These people show a strong sense of community that exist in the area and that together all things are possible. I look forward to working with local businesses and organizations within the village and the surrounding communities to further promote the growth and well-being of the village. I thank you for your support on May 9th as Mayor of Frederick Junction. Hi, my name is Gary Merzrow and I'm seeking re-election for the Mayor of Frederick Junction. I have served as your mayor for the past 15 years and would like to continue to serve you and see our, con our community prosper. Over the past four years, we have finished replacing all our sidewalks throughout the village, upgraded some of our municipal streets, saw our growth in our village through such developments as new apartment buildings and a pharmacy, signed agreements with our partners for the construction of the new fire hall, signed, supported our youth through various programs, notably the Trico Mount Minor Hockey Program supported our seniors through funding for the new minibus, and all this without an increase in our, in our tax rate. Over the next four years, I see Fredericton Junction continuing to grow, and my plan is to facilitate that growth and development by ensuring that our services are responsive to the needs of our residents and, and businesses while maintaining an affordable tax rate. I see the construction of a new fire hall and ambulance building, and we're able to do this without increasing the tax rate. This past year, we have seen the successful completion of our sidewalk upgrades, so we can use those funds to pay for our portion of the cost of the fire hall. 
I also want to improve the Mersho and Maynard roads and upgrade our water and sewer system to ensure that it's up to today's standards. And we can do these without affecting taxes or user fees by allocating the gas tax funds we receive from the federal government. I also want to work with the province to uh, improve the Wilsey Road. My experience includes 19 years as a member of your village council. I've worked 30 years for the Provincial Department of Local Government administering municipal legislation. I also am a director on the board of the Union of Municipalities in New Brunswick. My education includes a business administration degree, a certificate in municipal management, and a certificate in public administration. All of this experience and education has led to my in-depth knowledge of provincial processes, how municipalities operate, as well as the issue facing municipalities in general and Frederick Junction in particular. In addition to serving as your mayor, I serve as a deacon in my church. I sit as a board member of the Armacto Public Hospital Foundation. I volunteer for the Canada Volunteer Income Tax Program. I volunteer for Horizon Health at Armacto Hospital. I volunteered at the Maritime North Junior Hockey Championships, and I volunteered for the Provincial Curling Championships held at Trico. I was raised in Fredericton Junction and have enjoyed seeing my family grow in this incredible community, so sub and subsequently I've retired here. So on May 9th, I seek your support to be re-elected as mayor so we can continue to help Fredericton Junction to be an awesome community in which to live, work, and play. On May 9th, re-elect Gary Mergerl for mayor. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Blaney, current mayor of the village of Gagetown. As some of you may already know, I will be returning as mayor for the second term as a result of acclamation. First, I must say that the past four years as mayor have been a privilege and an honor for me. The village of Gagetown, although it has seen its challenges over the past four years, namely the effort to try and maintain its infrastructure such as the roadways and the cost that uh, it incurs in doing so, there is still a great deal of potential that those of us in the village of Gagetown have to be uh, grateful for. The village has a number of items that uh, are extremely positive and that will build a great foundation for it in going forward. The village has its beautiful countryside, its uh, quaint uh, rural village attraction, and upon that, such activities such as the Folly Fest, vintage in the uh, village, um, our Christmas in the village, as well as numerous others, have built upon that and continue to be successful year after year. Going forward, it's important that the village looks at building upon those items and continues with creating a positive momentum in going forward. The village needs to spend attention and time on attracting young families with children that will help bolster the community as well as the community school. The village also needs to have a long-term plan and vision in place. This is due to the fact of the costly expense in upkeeping our infrastructure. I'm pleased to say that starting out in this next term, we will be initiating that with a $1.1 million project that we will be sharing with the federal government and the prov uh, provincial government. It's projects such as these that allow us as a village that is tightly strapped for finances to make a forward motion with the benefit and help through our federal and provincial counterparts. In going forward, I think it's also extremely important that the village has the ability to see the direction in which the province must move. Hi there everyone, my name is Gayla McIntosh. I'm from Hanwell, New Brunswick, and I have put my name in the hat for to be the, the mayor of Hanwell. I'm asking for your support in the upcoming election. A lot of you may know me from running in the provincial as well as the federal election. And my heart is for the people. I really want to 
be able to not only be there for you but in, in support, but also to be able to stand for you and work for you and to work with you. We have so much going on in Hanwell. We have a wide variety of different people. We have low income, we have seniors, we have families just starting out, but we also have single parents with children. And in a lot of these cases, the need is there, not only for one, but for all. And there's so much that we can do in Hanwell. We can start out um, by doing different activities that involve the children, different activities that involve the seniors, different ways to be able to get seniors or low-income families transported to Fredericton. But the only way this is going to work is to get the input from the community as well as the working of the council. I believe that we need to have all these things in place in order for it to work. You are so important within the system as well as we are to work with you and we are here to work with you. I promise you as mayor, if I am elected, that I will work to my very most and I will listen to each and every one of you in where you feel that we should go within our community. We have so much to offer. We have so much to give. There are so many. Oh, I, I've been driving a cab for the last year, and the reason I decided to drive was so that I could run in the provincial as well as the federal as well as the municipal to be able to know what was on people's minds and to be able to find out where they were within their lives. And there are many days that... that I had no idea. I had no idea with our economy and with it being so hard the way it is, we're all in a rough place. So by working together and being together, we can get through this and we can make Hanwell a better place. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Please vote. My name is Chris Melvin and I'm running for mayor of Hanwell on May the 9th. We've all chosen Hanwell as our home because it's an amazing place to live. Our neighbors quickly become our extended family and our parks where our children can grow and play. As a rural community, civic engagement is vital. To be engaged, local government must better communicate with you. We must be transparent, giving you all the information you need so you know exactly how we're serving you. The bylaw preventing media from broadcasting council meetings must be revoked. Financial documents should be made public. You need to know how exactly council is spending your money. And we must be fiscally responsible, which is why I voted against giving mayor and council a pay increase. I know, just as you know, how important it is to earn your trust and respect, just as you work so hard to earn your salary and any increases. Fiscal responsibility also means spending resources in the right areas, focused on improving our lives. This is why we need to spend our resources to keep community events in the community. We need a community center to give our place for our children to play and grow. And it also gives us a chance to meet and celebrate our spirit as a community. And it will keep more money in our community. As a community with the ability to grow, we must ensure that we protect the things we hold dear. As mayor, I will work with residents to protect our rural lifestyle. I will work with the police department to continue with their protection of our neighborhoods. And I will work with our volunteer firefighters to ensure that they have the proper equipment they need, including a fire station in Hanwell. Any development within Hanwell must be managed to protect our lifestyle as a rural community. We need better bylaws to ensure new subdivisions are created without increasing traffic and without increasing noise, and they must respect green space. During my years in Hanwell, we have strived to work to better our community, for you and for our children. I have the experience, I have the passion, and I have the desire to lead our community. I want to be your mayor to grow our community the right way, keeping the things we love about Hanwell. 
the ability to stargaze at night, nature in our backyard, and affordable rural living. My name is Chris Melvin, and I look forward to serving the residents of Hanwell as mayor. For more information on my platform and to contact me directly, please visit melvinformayor.ca. Hi, my name is Craig Melanson, and it's been my privilege to be the mayor of the town of Heartland over the past four years. I, along with Tracy DeMerchant, Wayne Britton, Daphne Stokel, Ken Tompkins, Sarah Men, and Greg Krause, will be your council over the next four years. When you see these councillors out and about, please take the time to thank them and congratulate them and offer support for them and your comments on what you would like to see Heartland be. It might have been better to have had an election, but we're going to use this time, this extra time, to, uh, to educate ourselves about what it is to be a councillor because we do have some new, new members. In Heartland, the water's clear, the air's fresh, and the fill, feel, fields are filled with produce uh, for the markets, for the local markets, and for the global markets. Uh, the industrious, creative people of Heartland live and work and play. It is the place that three premiers of the province call home, where countless entrepreneurs have brought life to their ideas and prosperity to their neighbors, their province, and their country. Heartland's longest covered bridge in the world has become an icon for the tourism industry in New Brunswick. Heartland is proud of its industrious diversity and business community, such as the world-class Day and Ross Transport Company, which has its head office located here. Craig Manufacturing is an ultra-modern manufacturing and equipment design uh, business. And the old Dutch Food, Co food Limited uh, facility has a history that date back to the early days of potato chip industry. These are only a few of the dynamic progressive businesses that Heartland is proud to have established in our community. Over the next four years, we will be, we'll be, there will be exciting times with Canada's 150th birthday and Heartland's 100th birthday. Council will be tasked with renewing of the community recreation complex, relocation of the Dr. Walter Chestnut Library, to mention only a few challenges. We hope to grow Heartland's population and economy to renew old bylaws and create a climate and energy that will make Heartland a major player in the future of this part of the St. John River Valley. I'd like to thank Rogers for allowing me this time. Hello. I'm very pleased to have this opportunity today to be able to talk to the citizens of the village of McAdam about my place in the upcoming municipal election. It's been a pleasure to serve the citizens of McAdam for the past four years and for several years before that, and I look forward to being given the opportunity to return to office as your mayor. For the past four years, your council has worked very strongly as a team, committed and dedicated to make good decisions that has moved our community forward. Priority has been given on several fronts, particularly to improve the infrastructure in the village. We're delighted that we've been able to re refit and prepare our municipal water system for the next 25 years. Retrofitting of the actual water tank has been completed and of course we are now in the process of preparing our water, our water system at the management center to protect it from manganese. These are very important steps needed to ensure that we maintain that quality water service in the future. On other fronts, several activity has taken place and as you know, we're moving ahead this year and next year with about almost a million dollars of infrastructure money being made available by the gas tax fund and also by the small communities fund. Applying for grants, keeping our community moving ahead, keeping our tax base high but our tax rate low are priorities your council has had for a long time. I support those priorities and I hope you will support me to keep that focus in the right direction in the years ahead. One thing we know for sure is that none of us have a crystal ball. None of us knows what lies ahead for the next day or the next year. 
But one thing for sure, you need to continue to have a committed mayor and council that will represent you, the citizens, to the best of their ability. It's great to be able to plan, to predict, to prepare, and to make sure you've done all the kinds of things needed to move our community right. But it has to be right because it's what the citizens want. It also has to be a team effort, an effort that is put together by all the volunteers, all the committees, all the agencies that make our community what it is. We must never lose sight of our businesses, never lose sight of our industries and the employment, and also the economy, which is so important. One thing I want to say to you is that I'm prepared to do the best I can with all the effort that I can for as long as I can to move our community forward. I seek your support on Election Day, and I hope you will choose the best people to do the best job in our village. Thank you. My fellow citizens of Minto, I am honored to be a candidate for the position of mayor in the upcoming municipal election on May the 9th. With your support, it is my hope to represent you well, offering responsible, effective, and transparent government. I was mayor of our village from 1981 to 2001, involved in educational administration for over 30 years, and I'm currently uh, finishing up a four-year term as your elected representative on the Anglophone West School District Education Council. I trust that you will agree that my experiences make me a credible nominee for this position. As mayor, I would like to, first of all, meet with council individually to make sure that their concerns and priorities uh, help me to reach the common goals and direction that we need for this village. After that, I would allow community participation in reviewing council's goals and objectives in order to establish a four-year plan. Also, I would have annual reviews of this plan to look at council's achievement each year. As a council, we have to nurture positive relationships among our village employees. And this is something that is mentioned to me frequently while visiting people in the village. I would like to encourage council to catch up on defer deferred maintenance of existing infrastructure before investing in new projects. And we should take advantage of the new federal infrastructure program to improve our buildings, roads, sewer system, and also sidewalks. I would like to support, support extending our recreational programs to all residents, not just youth. I would also like Council to foster pride in our community. The greatest asset in our community are the residents, and they have been engaged, informed, generous, and resilient over the years. Many today are saying that our village is in decline, and as a Council, we have to uh, turn around this particular mindset. I would like to ensure frequent communications with both the federal and provincial governments to make sure that we can take all grants and programs that they have, and also to meet with our local service providers, RCMP, fire department, and also transportation. Thank you very much, and, th and uh, please come out on May 9th and vote for Don Gould. On May the 9th, the Village of Minna will be electing a new mayor and a council. I have decided to let my name stand as mayor. I am a lifelong resident of Minto. I was born there. I'm a retired station engineer from NB Power. I have sat on many boards and committee over the years, served on the Village Council in 17 years as your school board representative, and presently, I am sitting on the Board of Directors of the Minnow Community Resource Center. At present, I operate a senior apartment complex. I have worked with the seniors for many years and find it most rewarding. There is a great need for more of these apartments in the village of Minnow, and I am constantly working to secure more. Over the last four years, we have suffered a major setback with the 
loss of one of our most reliable and long-term employers. And with it, we, we have lost the satellite campus of NBCC. The mayor and council must be more proactive in securing uh, jobs and opportunities for our village and must be constantly in contact with our provincial and federal members. And the mayor must be the point man in trying to secure these things. Uh, the village of Minto has some very talented and successful contractors. And the village of Minto must reach out to these contractors and suppliers when considering tenders and buying supplies. <coughs> because these are the people that are employing our local workers and paying our taxes. On a real, real shiny note, we have one of the best bike, mountain bike trails around. Through the hard work and dedication of Mr. Morsey and some volunteers, we have gained national and international recognition for our, our mountain bike trail. And on July, we will be hosting a number of mountain bikers, 75 to 100 bikers and their families, which will give us tremendous recognition throughout many, many areas. And on May the 9th, I ask for your support as to become your mayor, and I promise open and access local, local and, I promise local and open council meetings. And I look forward to serving you as your new mayor. Be sure to get out and vote on May the 9th. Hello everyone. Bonjour à tous. My name is Pauline Johnson and I'm running to be elected as your mayor of Minto. I would like to take a moment of your time right now to ask you, my community, are you looking for someone that will be honest with you? someone who will work hard for you, someone who will always have your best interests at heart, your children, your family, your community. I will tackle any issue that is set in front of me with open-mindedness and diplomacy. I will work closely with my constituents to help lower crime rate, to put forth a five-year plan for infrastructure that will include better roads, and also web design. To be more effective in our increasing our population in our community with new families and businesses, I will go and find ways to better assist our seniors. I will promote and support the creativity, talent, and skill that we already have in our community. I will help restore the name of our community to be in a positive way. I will insist on having more public meetings so you, the people, are better informed. And most importantly, I will listen and be your voice. Then I say, I am your person. Vote for me, Pauline Johnson, to be your mayor. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Nelson McCray, and I wish to let my name stand for the position of mayor in the upcoming municipal election on May 9th, 2016, in the village of Minto, New Brunswick. Just to tell you a little bit about myself, I previously served on the council in the late 1980s and carried a large portfolio at that time. I also worked in business for over 25 years, as well as operating my own Radio Shack franchise and electronic repair center. I am the holder of two patents in both USA and Canada, and I have just secured a nonprofit status registered with Revenue Canada for the CanCare New Brunswick Foundation, which will help people with cancer for transportation and lodging in the whole province of New Brunswick. This organization should be launched this summer of 2016. The process took three years to get registered, and I developed the organization to help those in need in the province. And I'd like to have the head office in Minto. I feel that our little town is suffering as we have lost so much and nothing to replace them, such as Save Easy, Irving Gas, NB Coal, and NB Power. The past council has done nothing to try and solve these problems. A study was done 
for the installation of an elevator in a village municipal building at a cost of $40,000, and the elevator was never installed. Our walking trails are falling apart and never looked after. And we also need an emergency center set up uh, in the village with a large generator at one of our buildings, such as the senior centers and so on, to accommodate seniors and children in the event of a power failure in the winter or like the event of a hurricane that put the power out for four days. We have to provide water and place a place for hot meals in the event of a major disaster. People had to travel eight miles for water after the hurricane or during the hurricane with a waiting line of two hours or more and this is ridiculous in 2016. I have contracts with the federal government in Ottawa which will help to cover some projects in our area. We are not going to get any provincial dollars as the province is broke. I would like to see small cottage industries in our area and work out of one large building export their products anywhere in the world. Anyway, I wish to welcome all newcomers to the Village of Minto that are purchasing homes in the area and I hope you become active in our community. Anyway, I'm looking to improve our community and bring fresh new ideas to rejuvenate our community and I'll try my very best for the people of Minto. I'll look forward for your support on May 9th and thank you very much. Hello everyone. My name is Wendy Robichaux and I am presently a councillor in the village of Minto and I am running for the position of mayor in the upcoming election. I have been married to my husband Mark for 23 years and we have two children, Lyle and Aaron. My parents are Brenda and Keith Chase and I also have a brother Darren. I am very fortunate to be a teacher in our community for the past 10 years. In the two terms of, of council, I have been responsible for the following portfolios. The Minto Volunteer Fire Department, Arenas and Recreation, the BIA, the Downtown Business Association, the W.G. Bishop Nursing Home, a liaison with the Youth Centre, and the Grand Lake Growth Committee. During the time, I played an integral role in upgrading the park with the splash pad, gazebo, new play equipment, and new washroom facilities, new boards, lights, public washroom, and other upgrades at the Minto Centennial Arena, Upgrades at the sliding hill and the outdoor ice, ball, hockey, slash basketball surface in North Minto. The building of a new fire hall and the purchase of a rescue van. Maintaining municipal taxes and actually lowering them five cents in 2015. And paving sidewalk and sewer expansions. Should I be fortunate enough to be your next mayor, council will establish a long-term strategic plan for the village, which will include the following attraction of business, employment opportunities, and residents to our village. Collaboration with the Queen's North Health Complex to continue to promote health and fitness in our village. Continued improvements to the arena and our recreational facilities. Greater transparency in the awarding of tenders. Continue beautification projects. Maintain affordable tax and sewage rates. Maintain our present infrastructure and plan to grow. I believe that Minto is a wonderful place to raise a family because of its small town atmosphere. It is my intention to help maintain the quality of life that Minto has always represented. I will, if elected, work diligently and cooperatively with the rest of Council. If elected as your next Mayor, I am prepared to part with some of my volunteer activities to fulfill my duty as Mayor to the best of my ability. I am proud to tell people that I'm from Minto and it would be an honour to be your Mayor. The promise that I make to you, if elected, is that I will work for and represent the people of Minto and will help to grow and promote our community. I believe my two terms on council has given me the knowledge and experience to lead the next council and to put Minto back on the map. During my two terms as council, I have been in training for the job of, of mayor. I hope you will put your trust in me in the upcoming municipal election and vote Wendy Robichaux for mayor. Thank you in advance for your support. Hello, my name is Nancy Cronkite and I have had the honour and the pleasure of being the, Mac the mayor of Nackwick for the past four years. I am again offering for that position. My first task as mayor was to represent Nakawick on the South Central Forestry Working Group, was, which was successful in the implementation of a new forestry strategy 
to ensure the sustainability of the forest industry in New Brunswick. This was good news for NACWIC with our largest employer being the AV Mill. I worked with the MLA and was successful in the hiring of a nurse practitioner for NACWIC. The search for a physician is ongoing. Council has provided a promotional video of NACWIC along with a small financial incentive. I also participated in the sustainability study of the schools in NACWIC, which was successful in keeping the status quo of all three schools. With a loss of $500,000 revenue to our budget, the challenge has been and continues to be to provide the same level of services to our residents that they have been accustomed to and expect as cost efficient as possible. Several difficult decisions had to be made. The public works and recreation departments have been combined into one, eliminating one staff position. Inspection and planning services have been outsourced. The loss of the municipal office and fire hall has been another huge challenge. There are several outstanding issues with the insurance company. Council has just approved the plans to rebuild the municipal building with the addition of two extra bays on the fire hall. Construction is to commence in early summer. With aging underground infrastructure and streets that need to be repaved, there is still much work to do. I feel I am the best person for the job. I have over 20 years' experience in municipal government. I have the time and the tenacity to get the job done. I ask for your support on May 9th. Please vote Nancy for Mayor. Thank you. Hello to the citizens of Nakawick. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ian Kitchen, and I'm a candidate for Mayor in the upcoming municipal elections. As I was knocking on doors this past weekend, someone asked me why I wanted to be mayor. Having had a few days to reflect, here is my answer. Nackwick is a beautiful community with great people. It is a great place to live and to raise a family. I am proud to call this community with the big axe home. We have a lot to offer, schools, a marina, golf course, curling club, local shopping with pharmacies, grocery store, several options for dining out, and the recent return of a hardware store. For a community of our size, we offer a wide variety of services. Over the past few years, though, we have seen some businesses close, most recently the CIBC branch, and a doctor has left. As you drive on the streets, there are several houses for sale. The tax revenue for the town has decreased, mostly due to the reassessment of the mill, and some of our local clubs are struggling to survive. As a citizen of Nackwick, these issues are concerning. I know it is a sign of the economic times, but do we just accept it or try to do something about it? I have chosen to try and do something about it, and that is why I have decided to let my name stand as a candidate for mayor in the town of Nakawick. The Municipalities Act states several roles of a mayor. The most important role a mayor assumes is that of providing leadership. Leadership in the local government context means facilitating a team approach among council members and between council and administration. I would even extend this to building a strong relationship between Council and the community it serves. This means working with our volunteer groups and organizations, our business owners, and you, the citizens, to make improvements in our town. I have the skills to provide this leadership. I grew up in Nackwick and returned 18 years ago to teach at our high school. I served in Town Council for two terms from 2001 to 2008, where I sat on the Protective Services Committee, the Fire Committee, the Recreation Committee, among others. I have also volunteered for various groups in our community, including York West Minor Hockey and Ducks Unlimited. I served as president of the local non-profit daycare and currently serve as a board member of the Nackwick Golf and Country Club. I believe these opportunities have given me the experiences and knowledge to be an effective leader for you. The next council needs to continue the work towards rebuilding our fire hall and repairing our town hall, making it the top priority. It has been almost two years and the people want to see progress. If elected your mayor, I will work with council and the people of our great town to ensure that our community is vibrant and progressing. I want people to be proud to be living in a community that features the world's largest acts. I encourage everyone to vote and elect a mayor and council that will move NACWIC forward. Thank you.
My name is Judy Wilson Shee, current mayor for the village of New Maryland. To the residents of the village of New Maryland, it will be a privilege to serve you in role of mayor for the next four years. It is a commitment I take very seriously. I graduated from UNB with two degrees, moved to the village of New Maryland in 1981, raised my family with my late husband, and have operated a home business for the past 35 years. I have been involved with the village going on 16 years in various roles. I look forward to working with council that will be determined on May the 9th as voters go to the poll. Working together, we will deal with issues that are brought before us as we bring respect for each other to every meeting. I look forward to reintroducing myself to our residents over the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mary Ann Bell and I'm running for Mayor of Perth Andover. When I was approached to run for Mayor, the idea was positivity, that a positive voice was needed to lead the Village Council. I began to think about why this was important, what this would look like, and now I'm excited to make it happen. We need a Village Council that will be first open-minded. We need to consider every idea on its merits, not on personalities, and give respectful consideration to what members of our community research, plan, and suggest. We need to consider new ideas and reconsider old ideas in a new way. Second, we need the Village Council to be transparent. Many people have concerns about our village that arise from lack of information and misunderstanding. In other cases, perhaps people would be concerned if they had more information. In any case, I want to see the village share information, plans, possibilities, and the reasoning behind decisions more openly with the public. Third, we need the Village Council to be ambitious, eager to work hard, explore possibilities, give sustained impartial consideration, and follow through. Fourth, we need a council that will cooperate work together for the good of our people, not waste time in competition and politics. On issues such as these, more stable, well-paid jobs, a stronger hospital, sidewalks lining the streets, maximizing the beauty of Perth Andover, supporting local, local initiatives, and more volunteering. I want to serve as your mayor because I want to set the tone. The mayor sets the tone. The leader of the council needs to be open-minded, transparent, ambitious, and cooperative, and that's what I'm offering. I have lots of experience leading adult groups, from a board of directors, to a breastfeeding mother support group, to a community choir, and years of volunteer service in Perth Andover. I've established order and a positive learning environment in a high school classroom. I don't know all the answers to the challenges facing our village, but I will strive to lead a council that listens, gives serious consideration to your ideas, makes informed decisions, and keeps you in the loop. Please vote on May 9th. Choose five councillors who will work together for the good of Perth Andover, and vote Mary Ann for mayor. Hello, my name is Alexis Fenner and I'm the current Mayor of Plaster Rock, New Brunswick. I've been in office for four years and I've worked hard to make advances in the rebuilding of our village and its infrastructure. One of our great achievements was the introduction of the LED lights throughout the village. This has given us a saving on the village power bill of $18,000 a year. Over four years, our water and sewer systems have been brought up to date. The infrastructure over many years has been neglected. We've increased our ability to supply the water long-term for the next at least 15, 20 years. We bought newer and better machines for our public works department. Many of the machines were outdated and old at the end of their life. Our police services, one of the biggest complaints upon me taking office were that the fact that the police services were very lacking. I worked closely with the police, the RCMP, 
and now we have, it has been increased our services and we have also have a better police presence within the village. Many of the influences that have created problems for the village have been dealt with. I have also have many personal in, uh, involvements in the village, youth projects. I introduced various things to do for the youth throughout the village. Summerfest. I started off four years ago with our Summerfest. Started off with a $2,000 budget. We are now up to a 60 odd thousand dollar budget. 60, 000, 60 odd thousand plus I will say. And we are doing well, it's taken a life of its own and now it's an annual event. We introduced a Christmas dinner, these are my personal projects, we introduced a Christmas dinner free for all comers and it's taken off, it's a wonderful event, all done by volunteers. I have also worked very hard to make the name of Plaster Rock known throughout the government circles. I wish to ask you for your vote, for me to continue the work and to bring things to our village. For us to continue on in the rebuilding of a community, a rural community, we have to work together. And for working together, that means I'm requesting your vote. I'm asking you very respectfully to allow me to continue for another four years of uh, my office. I thank you very much for listening to me. Take care. Thank you. Greetings. Firstly, I'd like to extend my appreciation to Rogers TV for the opportunity to share my message with the residents of Plastrock. I am Terry Harding. I hope to be the new mayor of Plastrock. I was born in Plastrock and always lived in the village. I married my high school sweetheart and we have three wonderful children. I've been employed with the Plastrock Sawmill for 29 years. I've been involved here firefighter for 29 years. I've actively been involved with Fire Prevention Week programs for years. Actively involved in sports, coaching, officiating, enjoying the sports of hockey, soccer, basketball, to mention a few. As a family man, I continue to be concerned about attracting, maintaining, and useful, suitable programs to keep our youth and seniors active. With a few changes, we can set new goals for our youth and senior programs to move forward to, together to achieve those goals. A few issues I would like to address as mayor. The municipal tax rate, our community health center, Maintain what we have and bring more choices and opportunities. Emergency service, beautification within the village. I feel that with your support, we can bring our village residents, citizens, and the surrounding area together collectively to achieve a sustainable community. As an elected mayor, I look forward to working with our federal and provincial representatives on behalf of council and citizens of Plastrock to move our community forward. I have served on the village council for eight years as councillor. I feel my experience has prepared me for the challenge. I have the time, I have the energy, I have the knowledge. I'm ready and eager to accept the responsibility of Mayor of Plastrock. I believe in the people of Plastrock. I believe in our future. Nothing happens by itself. Someone has to make it happen. The Mayor, Council, and the people make it happen. We must build our future together. As Mayor, I welcome citizen concerns and suggestions. I would be proud to serve as Mayor and respectfully ask for your support on May 9th. Please vote Terry Harding. Thank you. Hi, I'm the Mayor of the Village of Tracy. My name is Dale Mooring, and uh, I'd like to take this moment to thank the people in the, of, of the Village of Tracy for their support in the years past. Uh, as, as I was active mayor in our community. And I want to thank uh, the, the citizens of the village of Tracy for their uh, support again in this upcoming uh, election that's coming forth as well and uh, their encouragement. And uh, uh, as I continue to go on forward in this next four ter year term, I have some accomplishments that I'd like to see uh, uh, done in the next four years and looking forward to working with the uh, council and uh, again thank you for your support uh, for the village of Tracy. Hi I'm Doug Lyons of Boystown. I'm running for the mayor position in the Upper Miramichi area. 
I'm married to my beautiful wife, Ashley, and together we have four beautiful sons. I have been involved in volunteering for over 30 years. I've been uh, on the fire department for 20 years, the Lions Club for 30 years, uh, Masonic Lodge, involved in the church, and also a member of the Miramichi Business Association of the Valley. I'm also a business owner in the area. I love sports, hunting, fishing, camping, going to church, and most of all, being a dad to my kids. I believe that I am the right choice to be the mayor of this beautiful country we call the Miramichi. I know that we have some great counselors in this area that we can move up in Miramichi to a new and right direction. There are still concerns over the firewood issue on Crown land that needs to be dealt with, and we have roads in the area that are not fit for school buses to travel on. That needs to be addressed. We have lost too much in the last while, and we need to get the great Upper Miramichi back on track. On May the 9th, I am asking for your support to vote me in as mayor for the Upper Miramichi, and I will do my very best to bring it forward, and thank you very much.